Hey guys, my name's Shannon and this is another quick guide for the game Don't Starve. In this video, I'm going to go over the basics of how to build a good base, including when you should build, where you should build, and a few other tidbits on what to ensure and what to avoid early in the game after you've survived your first night. So now that you've survived day one, I'm going to show you how to get through the next stage, becoming stable. First, although exploration might seem scary, it's actually better to stock up on logs, grass, and tufts, and build a simple campfire each night as you explore the rest of the map. What you're looking for is an ideal spot for your base. So let's go over the different biomes that are available in the game. Everyone starts their game in the grassland biome. Use the paths as you explore. They're there to help. The grassland biome is the most hospitable. It's the biome richest in resources, being the only one that has bees and carrots that grow naturally. It also has a plethora of flint on the ground. There are also not too many enemy threats in the grassland biome. The plains biome is usually where you're going to find beefalo. Ideally, you do want beefalo close to your base. There are also rabbits in the plains biome, but the vast majority of rabbits exist in the grassland biome. The forests are not that resource rich. There are no rabbits, no flint, no carrots. However, there are the mandrake. They are very rare, and we'll talk about them in another video. The Rockland biome is home to the tall bird. Do not mess with this thing early in the game. Spiders also make their home on Rockland, so tread lightly. There are many boulders to break down, but once you've broken those down and brought them all back to your base, the Rockland is essentially useless to you. And by far, the most volatile of all of the biomes is the Swamp biome. Although reeds are useful, sadly they cannot be dug up and planted elsewhere. Oddly, frogs attack you with their tongues so it's best to just kill them quickly and take their legs. The swamp is home to the tentacles. Avoid at all costs until you have armor, a spear, and pig friends. If you're lucky, spiders might make their nest on the swamp and fight the tentacles. If you stand off to the edge, these two creatures will battle it out and leave the spoils of war for you, which is great because the tentacle spike is the best weapon in the game. There are also graveyards which can be found in the forest and rockland biomes. Get out your shovel and dig up those graves. I know this game seems strange, encouraging you to dig up graves to find toys, but trust me, when you meet the Pig King, you want those toys. And since there's only a 10% chance that a ghost will spawn, it's worth the risk. If you do encounter a ghost, run. They will disappear the next day, so just avoid them until then. As you explore the map, amass as many seeds as you can. These are crucial for farming, baiting bird traps, and adding to crock pots for filler. Also, roasted seeds give a decent early game bonus to healing, so just pick them up as you go along. When you come across the plains biome, I suggest you pick up as much manure as you possibly can so that you can build farms when you start building your base. Farms are essential to staying away from killing too many animals, which can affect your nature karma. If you get too much negative nature karma, a demon will spawn to steal everything you have. What can I say? It's a Canadian game. By roughly day five, you want to have built your fire pit and your science machine. Don't bother building your second science machine until you have the basics with your first, researched, and built. The first things you want to research are your rope, log suit, spear, basic farm, and I would probably do it in that order. The log suit is the only armor available in the game. If you don't have a log suit by day five or six, you're going to have some issues surviving hound attacks. Also, probably best to keep an eye on the percentage of the log suit and the spear. You don't want them to deteriorate to nothing in the middle of a fight. When you come across pig houses, which are always in the forest biome, deconstruct them with the hammer and pick up the pieces so that you can rebuild them back at your base. Pigs are essential to your success in the game. Make sure you're very quick about picking up the pig skins. Press space to select them automatically. Pigs will eat anything they find on the ground that's edible, including pig skins. In my next video, I'll focus on pig management since there's so much you can do with them. After about day 10, you can start researching gold tools and build those instead of the ones made from flint. Gold tools are much more durable. Dig up the berry bushes whenever possible, as well as grass tufts and saplings. I should note here though that grass and berry bushes must be refertilized before they will grow again. Also, with your berry bushes, do not dig them up, plant, and then dig them up again without fertilizing. They break into two twigs if you do this, and there are only a finite supply of berry bushes in the world. It's also good to build at least one crock pot. To get the charcoal to build the crock pot, 
what I like to do is plant trees in an isolated area far away from everything else that's flammable and then set them ablaze with your torch and run. You can take fire damage if you linger. For your base layout, you want to make sure that you keep all flammable items sectioned off from each other, such as trees, saplings, grass, etc. If you don't section things off, then one firehound can destroy everything. I'd also suggest that you build everything in your base around your fire in a somewhat circular shape. This just makes it easier for you to get things done at night. The fire pit makes sure that fires can't spread, unlike the basic campfire. With a fire pit, you'll also need less fuel. Just one tuft of grass will last you the whole night if you start the fire near the end of dusk. The fire pit also has its own map marker, so you can find your base easily on the map. Just be careful not to waste stones building fire pits everywhere, or building and then destroying and then rebuilding them. Again, all rocks are a finite resource. Ideally, the best location for your base is on grassland, but near the plains. Then, when you build your pig village next to you, you'll have an unlimited supply of food and fuel, as long as you manage it well. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions for future topics in my Don't Starve Guide series, let me know in a comment below. I'd love feedback on what you guys thought of this, so drop a rating to let me know if you liked it or not. And please remember to click subscribe so that you can be the first to know when my next guide is out. See you guys next time.